It is about the new strategic arm race. The world's biggest powers are chasing quantum supremacy. The US, China and now India are racing to shield critical networks before hostile quantum computers appear. Unlike cyber or missiles, quantum is a zero-day weapon. The first mover gets years of decisive advantage. Think, if China can hack existing encryption with quantum tools, every military plan, weapon and communication becomes exposed. India's approach is unique. We are seeding a homegrown ecosystem, not just importing tech. The National Quantum Mission backs startups like QUNU Labs and Quantum AI. The Army's Quantum Lab at Mao builds quantum secure networks for the field. And DRDO's new center brings academia, industry and military together. All to ensure that India stays quantum resilient and severe. Like always, Chanakya once wrote, Power is the ability to shape what others think is impossible. By making the invisible decisive, for ancient India, knowledge was a weapon in quantum. We reclaim that tradition at the speed of light, which can be done by quantum computer in just hours. Now, in June 2025, India scientists achieved their first one kilometer quantum entanglement based secure link, Free Space QKD, proving it works outside a lab, even in dense urban settings. This is unhackable communication, tested and ready for frontline command centers. India's new quantum technology research center in Delhi now pioneers atomic clock for navigation in GPS-denied military missions, quantum magnometers for detecting stealthy submarines and underground threats, and invulnerable encryption for military satellites and drone swarms. Why this matters, you may ask. 